In this lesson, you're going to learn about the multi-mate mode and some other mate settings. Let's start to create a mate inside this assembly called multi-mate. This can be found in the folder for chapter 7 in your infinite skills files. SolidWorks has cleverly hidden the icon for multiple mate mode right in clear sight. You've probably seen this paperclip with the lightning bolt on it several times wondering what it is. You may have just overlooked it as well. If you click on this icon, the interface changes a little bit. The first selection group is the common reference. And so if you want several parts mated to a common piece of geometry or a plane or a face or whatever, select that in this box. And then all of the other components that you want to mate to that, select in the larger box. The Create Multimate folder will create a folder just for the mates created in this step in the overall mates folder at the bottom of the tree. We click on the check, take a look. We can see we've got a multi mates folder which is just the multi-mate symbol with each of the mates added to it. This is a convenient and fast way to mate multiple parts to a common reference. Some of the other mate options that are available in the Mate Property Manager are Show Pop-Up Dialog. This refers to the dialog that pops up right here. This makes it faster to flip the mate alignment or undo a mate or add or finish the mate. You could change a mate also from one to a different type. I find this toolbar very handy. Some people might find it distracting. So if we turn that off, then the pop-up toolbar will not show up it will just automatically preview the mate for you. Unless, of course, you've turned off the Show Preview option. Let's do that. X out of the mate. Start the mate command again. Make sure the option is turned off. Click on the two faces, and then the mate will not preview until we exit the mate. The final option that's available is the Use for Positioning Only. What this does is actually position the part and then the mate is deleted. It's not kept. So let's take a look at all the mates we have. Let's delete what's here and separate the parts. We'll try this mate again. And We'll mate together this edge with this edge. Let's turn on for positioning only. Turn on show preview. And then we'll mate the face with the face and accept the mate. And exit the mate property manager. Having done all of that, notice that there are no mates listed even though we clearly created a concentric and a coincident mate. That is due to the Use for Positioning Only option, which turned itself off as soon as we exited the feature. This can be handy for use in animations where you want to position a part, but you don't want to use the mate, and you might find it useful in other situations as well.